Europeans came in contact with live elephants in 327 BC when Alexander the Great descended into India from the Hindu Kush. But Alexander was quick to adopt them. The first proboscidean that actually looked reasonably like an elephant occurred about 35 million years ago and is called Paleomastodon. Paleomastodon was about the size of a cow, had tusks and a short trunk. The largest land animals alive today are the only remaining species of the family Elephantidae, which belongs to an ancient order of Proboscidea. Proboscideans were a diverse and widespread group of herbivores that first appeared in Africa about 60 million years ago. Unlike the three endangered species of elephants we know today, not all proboscideans were giant, nor did they look anything like their cousins. In fact, some of the earlier species such as the Erytherium which lived in Morocco were as small as foxes and lacked a trunk. Over the past 20 million years, the global climate changed frequently and dramatically. Provided with new challenges in habitats, proboscideans that expanded from their range in Africa evolved 25 times faster than the cousins they left behind. This resulted in a variety of forms. With three to four different proboscidean species coexisting in one space. This richness of giant herbivores was unlike anything in today's ecosystem. But from about 6 million years ago, the diversity in proboscidean started to decrease following the harsh cooling of Earth. Only the most ecologically versatile proboscidean survived. The most extreme example would be the woolly mammoth, which had thick, shaggy hair, and large tusk for retrieving vegetation hidden under thick snow. Elephants are herbivores. They eat a range of plants including grasses, fruits and roots. An adult elephant consumes about 100 kg that is 220 pounds of food and 100 liters that is 26 gallons of water per day. These amounts can be doubled for a hungry and thirsty individual. Such consumption makes elephants an important ecological factor because it substantially affects and even alters the ecosystem elephants live in. Elephants gestate for 18 to 22 months, which is the longest gestation period of any mammal. The extension of proboscideans due to humans and climate change. Whether humans or climate change cause extinction of large animals, including proboscideans, is still up for debate today. Early humans became effective hunters of large animals around 1.5 million years ago. The team's analysis shows the final proboscidean extinction peak much earlier. However, at around 2.4 million years ago, the finding is something we didn't anticipate. It seems the broad global pattern of proboscidean extension could be reproduced without considering the impacts of early human migration. This contradicts the claim that early humans started wiping out prehistoric elephants. However, this isn't to say we conclusively disapprove any human involvement. Our research shows modern humans settled on each landmass after proboscidean has started becoming extinct. So humans, a highly adaptable social predator, could have landed the final blow. This research presents an invaluable blueprint for evaluating the significance of human impact on near-time megafauna extensions. It also helps present a case study of why animal group produce uneven distribution of diversity across evolutionary histories. Top Facts About Elephants They are world's largest animal. You can tell the two species apart by their ears. Their tusks have mad scales. Their tusks are actually teeth. They communicate through vibrations. A baby elephant can stand within 20 minutes of birth. 
A war elephant was an elephant that was trained and guided by humans for combat. The war elephant's main use was to charge the enemy, break their ranks and instill terror and fear. Elephantry is a term for specific military units using elephant-mounted troops. War elephants played a critical role in several key battles in antiquity, especially in ancient India. While seeing limited and periodic use in ancient China, they became a permanent fixture in armies of historical kingdoms in Southeast Asia. During classical antiquity, they were also used in ancient Persia and in Mediterranean world within armies of Macedon, Hellenistic Greek states, the Roman Empire, and later Empire and the Carthage in North Africa. In some reasons, they maintained a firm presence on the battlefield throughout the Middle Ages. However, their use declined with the spread of firearms and other gunpowder weaponry in early modern warfare. After this, war elephants became restricted to non-combat engineering and labor roles, as well as being used for minor ceremonial uses. They continued to be used in combat. In the Mahabharata, the Akshohini battle formation consists of a ratio of one chariot, one elephant, three cavalry, five infantry soldiers. Many characters in Mahabharata were described as skilled in the art of elephant warfare. Example, Duryodhana rides an elephant in the battle to bolster the demoralized Kaurav army. Alexander the Great came in contact with the Nanda Empire on the banks of the Bees River and was forced to return due to his army unwillingness to advance. Even if numbers and prowess of these elephants were exaggerated by historic accounts, elephants were established firmly as war machine in this period. Chandragupta Maurya (321–297 BC) formed the Mauryan Empire the largest empire to exist in South Asia. At the height of his power, Chandragupta is said to have a wielded a military of 6 lakh infantry, 30,000 cavalry, 8,000 chariots, and 9,000 war elephants besides followers and attendants. In the Mauryan Empire, the 30-member war office was made of 6 board. The 6 board looked after the elephants, and were headed by Gaj Adhyaksh. The Gaj Adhyaksh was the superintendent of elephant and his qualifications. Welcome to our channel Original Morals. I'm Kushi, the narrator of the story. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe so we could bring you more stories. Hey viewers, welcome to the Original Morals. My name is Mahendra and I'm making the animation of this video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe this channel and stay tuned with me. Thank you. Hello all, Original Morals channel ki andar ki swag. Na peru vasanta. Ikada ni Telugu lo translate chesindi nene. Ikada ni andar ki nachchundani anukuntunnanu. Alagi ma channel ni tapakunda subscribe cheskoni.